uh, we want to be present and we want to be visible uh, on a Polish market, especially for the reason that we are very active uh, uh, in Polish market uh, for some years now. And uh, therefore we are here at MSPO 2021. Here we are focusing this year um, on several uh, uh, new solutions that Hensel has developed in the last uh, one year. Um, primarily we are focusing on our radar portfolio. Um, as already known to the, to the Polish uh, partners and customers uh, and worldwide, we are offering different kind of radars in uh, S-band, C-band and X-band. Uh, for the different uh, uh, concept of operations, meaning for air surveillance, naval radars, navigational radars, uh, radars to be used uh, for, the, for the ground surveillance, uh, and thus we are also using those uh, radars in a different uh, uh, complex uh, solutions, like for example, counter UAV uh, and, and uh, the things like this. Uh, this time, this year, we are focusing on two main uh, uh, state-of-the-art radars uh, Hansel has. Uh, this, is the, um, this is the air uh, traffic uh, control radar called ASR-NG, uh, which, is, uh, uh, which is a radar to be used uh, uh, in both military and defense uh, 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 operations, meaning that the radar is a co-mounted radar, meaning primary and secondary radar together. Uh, covering uh, both modes, uh, mode S for the civilian traffic and mode 5 for the, for the uh, uh, military uh, air control. Uh, here we can say that uh, um, ASR-NG has, uh, has a range of 120 nautical miles, I'm talking about the primary radar. The specific, the specific uh, uh, features of the radar is uh, the wind farm mitigation, resistance to the high frequency uh, 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 mobile uh, uh, networks that we have in the in the in the surroundings like LTE like uh, uh, um, uh, LTE UMTS and uh, and so uh, also uh, ASR is very specific having uh, 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 three uh, dimensions uh, covered by the primary radar, radar only so basically the approximate attitude can be can be uh, defined by the operator, uh, which is very much uh, important uh, for non-cooperative targets. Um, in addition, obviously, there is a secondary radar, uh, IFF, so-called interrogator friend or foe, uh, covering the latest uh, mode 5 uh, encryption mode by, by requested by, by NATO. And with this uh, combined solution, we can actually offer uh, 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 the best uh, 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 air traffic control radar uh, worldwide. Uh, obviously, there is a very popular uh, ongoing uh, uh, project in Poland called uh, DRAVA, and uh, we believe that uh, ASR-NG uh, uh, fits all the technical requirements uh, in order to provide to the end customer everything that, uh, that is needed. The second radar uh, we are focusing at here is uh, our naval radar in C-band, frequency band, called TRS-40. This is our newest development to be offered to the uh, ships uh, in the class of OPVs, corvettes, and frigates. We are talking about C-band radar, range of 250 kilometers, uh, and this is cautious, cautiously speaking, up to 300, uh, we can push it. Uh, we are also talking about co-mounted primary and secondary radar. Uh, and uh, this is radar for the, for the ships, uh, for the air surveillance and target acquisition. Uh, we are talking about uh, 1,500 targets uh, 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 detection at the same time. We are talking about uh, the range of up to 300 kilometers, altitude of 30 kilometers. We believe that this, uh, this uh, solution can be really well fitted to any any project uh, with regards to the bigger corvettes, smaller frigates, uh, and we believe that uh, in some uh, ongoing projects in Poland, this 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 product can uh, can be really fitted into the uh, into the uh, vessel, uh, any vessel. We do have uh, references with that regards, and also to be integrated with uh, any CMS combat management system, uh, and thus we are really flexible to be integrated to to. Uh, to and with any other uh, uh, providers. Uh, this uh, radar will be, uh, will be integrated into the new Frigate program in Germany, but not only, but this is the newest one, so we are very proud. 
Uh, so uh, basically we think uh, based on those references we have and especially uh, uh, having a, a, a customer uh, uh, trusting uh, Hansel in, in uh, this uh, target acquisition and uh, air surveillance uh, uh, technologies, radars. Uh, we believe that this could be the best fit uh, for, uh, for Poland as well. Uh, maybe one more thing to mention. Uh, this is a technology that is used in our ground-based radars as well. And uh, we know the importance of Poland uh, uh, within the NATO. Uh, we know the, the, the plans of, of uh, 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 Polish Ministry of National Defense with regards to the, to the equipping the army with the new technology. Uh, we believe that combination of our ground-based and uh, a naval radar uh, based on the same technology can really be a win-win situation, uh, not only uh, during the procurement process, but also for the maintenance, uh, 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 maintenance services afterwards, uh, especially having in mind that normally Hansel policy uh, uh, intention is to engage as much as possible the local industry so we are talking about industrial cooperation. We are talking about technology transfer uh, in order to bring the, the, the national know-how and to integrate this into our overall proposal. And this way, the customer will get the, the best solution. Pegasus program is, uh, in Germany, is a very complex project. Uh, complex program. Uh, uh, um, the customer was uh, working on, on preparation for this uh, program a uh, long time. It is a very complex one. Uh, we are very proud to say that uh, Hensold uh, actually won this contract uh, uh, to lead the overall complexity of the delivery. Here we are talking about the uh, uh, electronic electronic warfare uh, 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 solutions uh, that are integrated in one single suit to be used on the flying platforms. Um, here we are talking about Hensold uh, 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 solution, uh, Calatreon Integrale family. So this is a family of, uh, of many different sensors uh, within the cell protection domain and within the electronic warfare domain. So here we are talking about SIG, Incomit, OSINT, uh, different kind of operations uh, into one single system. So the operator can easily follow uh, uh, all those threats uh, during the mission. This is also a very uh, complex and very interesting project because the, the, the whole family uh, Calatreon Integrale family uh, can be offered to any other NATO member. Uh, now having this experience uh, and willingness as always, Hensold is ready uh, and starting some negotiations with the local industry uh, to see what other uh, uh, elements of potential even more complex system in Poland can be integrated into the overall system. And Hensold is ready to take over uh, the lead. Uh, uh, the responsibility, but also we are uh, we are very much uh, uh, ready and flexible uh, to stay as a, as a subcontractor, as a, as a supplier to any other national local lo local legal entity, uh, because for some reason uh, uh, the local legal entity uh, is closer. He knows better the, the requirements and he can respond to the customer uh, in a shorter time. So basically combination of all those uh, being said uh, basically uh, is something that Hansel can, can deliver. So MGCS, it's a European initiative, a European program, I would say, that is for the time being led by two countries, uh, France and Germany. Uh, the initial idea was actually to find and to develop a replacement to uh, Leclerc and uh, Leopard 2. Uh, and here now uh, uh, the program is in the phase of, of uh, development, defining the design and the needs to cover all the needs, obviously. Uh, there is an initiative to make the whole program wider. Uh, and uh, Poland, uh, as, a, as a NATO member, a very strong and important NATO member uh, from Europe, is very much interested to, to enter this, this initiative, this program. Um, me personally, I believe this is possible. There is a lot of know-how to be to be used in the program. Uh, the program itself uh, uh, is is um, is actually a combination of uh, integrating of different kind of uh, uh, new technologies, and Hensold in this very program is very much in a position to 
to offer different kind of systems that we have in our portfolio integrated in one single uh, in one single uh, uh, defense system for the for the tank. So basically, here we are talking about combination of uh, sensors uh, uh, that are detecting the target radars. Obviously, we we talked about them already. Uh, we do have a, a very good EO uh, electro optics uh, uh, cameras, long range cameras, thermal imagers that uh, uh, can be used for the long range surveillance. We also have a new technology, new system uh, called SETAS, which actually gives the crew in the armed vehicle 360 view around the vehicle uh, in, a, in a short range, which was always uh, difficulties for the, for the armed vehicle. Um, in addition, we are offering even a long range surveillance using our UAV. So basically UAV is connected to the main, to the main system, to the heart of the system, to, to have actually uh, possibility to see to see long range uh, 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 situational to get situational awareness through the drone and then the central unit is actually combines all the signals coming from different uh, sources from different sensors into one single uh, 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 screen to the operator so he has a full uh, uh, situational awareness around around the, the battlefield tank so uh, there is some other initiatives with regards to the main battlefield tank, where Poland is also very active. Uh, Hansel has ideas, some ideas were already presented and shared with the Ministry of National Defense and with the local, uh, local uh, Polish industry, state-owned and privately-owned industry. Um, uh, and this communication is based uh, primarily on the know-how that Pencil can deliver and obviously know how that can be delivered by the local companies, local industry.